Amazing group of people. They were the most amazing people that I got to know. Very enthusiastic. They went through difficult times because they were the first group, but they managed it very well and actually that actually developed them towards being flexible, adaptable for the therapist which we need to be. I think they, they will really do well because they're a really good group of students who work together. And all of them deserve to graduate and all of them will become very good physiotherapists. We had a few lectures and the students were just always in the room and said, we understand, we are so happy to be this first call. And they really were incredibly, incredibly hardworking and enthusiastic and positive throughout. I'm the head of department and the department's named Occupational Therapy and Physiotherapy. So as an HOD, um, I basically coordinate the two programs, Physiotherapy and Occupational Therapy. My role at UNAM is I'm a physiotherapy lecturer. So most of my role involves um, the teaching and learning activities in the physiotherapy department. Physiotherapy is a health science. It involves the management or treatment of many different conditions without the use of medicine. In America they refer to it as physical therapy, which also gives an indication of the fact that it is it's a physical science. Physiotherapy is all about movement. So as a physiotherapist, we're really good at understanding how the body works and moves and then identifying disease, um, problems resulting from disease, illness, injury. Physiotherapy encompasses a, a wide range of medi medical fields, if you like, which physiotherapists play a role in. In fact, there's probably not many I can't think of any medical fields or medical conditions where physiotherapy doesn't play a role. I'm Helga Vertiger. I'm a lecturer of the Occupational Therapy Program at the University of Namibia. Occupational therapy is about assisting people who have challenges in doing the things that have to, need to or want to do in life. So we find ways of letting them do the activities of daily life better or more satisfactory to themselves and ultimately we want everybody to be contributing to society. They facilitate people towards being able to engage with life on different levels at work, at play, at home, ultimately. Whether you have a disability or not, so that you feel worthwhile and that you are part of communities and societies who feel worthy of being a member of the society. So there's a big psychological and psychiatry component in occupational therapy which is different from physiotherapy because um, psychological or psychiatric conditions influence your ability to engage with life but also a physical component in terms where we overlap a lot between occupational therapy and physiotherapy. We enrolled the first cohort in 2018 and that's when I also started at the program as the first and only lecturer in physiotherapy in 2018. Right. Uh, how many occupational therapy students will be graduating? We are graduating this year seven. Okay, so we've got 10 students who are graduating. So they've completed the four year um, Bachelor of Science degree in physiotherapy. Amazing group of people. I really had, yeah, I mean they were the reason why I stuck with this program in this university being on my own in the beginning. Um, yeah, I never did not want to come to work and the main reason for that is because of these students. They were the most amazing people that I got to know. Very enthusiastic. Um, they went through difficult times because they were the first group but they 
managed it very well and actually that actually developed them towards being flexible, adaptable physiotherapists which we need to be. I think they, they will really do well because they are a really good group of students who work together. It was really good teamwork amongst them. I used to joke actually at some of them when they mess around in class and like you guys are really like siblings, you know. Um, but yes, I think, I think they're really going to promote the profession and do well out there. Wonderful therapists. We were so excited about the um, quality of their work in fourth year. You know, we also had COVID in between which was very, very challenging. And what I can say from their fourth and their final year, a lot of them really um, became responsible. They took on responsibility within the hospital setting and in the community for the people that they were dealing with. They did, they were very instrumental actually last year. Now I think of it with a lot of post-COVID patients who we saw in the intensive care unit. So they did a really good job there with um, helping people to get back to, to their occupations and their home environment. Um, maybe you want to know something about the external moderator's comments on our students? Sure. They said they were absolutely fantastic pioneers and they're confident that they will be excellent therapists. So we had very, very positive feedback from our external moderators. Namibia has a lack in rehabilitation services um, and rehabilitation is where physiotherapists are directly involved in. So Namibia has a handful of physiotherapists that's employed. It was very important to me that we would have occupational therapists in Namibia, not only number-wise, but also who know the culture and who know the background and speak the languages of our people. And then if you look at our two big state hospitals, they are probably jointly manned by um, less than 10 physiotherapists and yet each of those hospitals each has probably about 800 beds. Over the regions there's probably, aside from Inventuk, there's probably three in the rest of the country and Inventuk just a while back there was only one in government. It started, um, there was a situation in Namibia, in fact it currently still is, there were a lot of motor vehicle accidents. MVA came on board then and they were uh, part of the negotiating team because they obviously needed a lot of their clients um, receiving physiotherapy. So they believe um, that Namibia needs many more occupational therapists. They were always quite involved in financially supporting students in South Africa and they said it just doesn't make sense to support students in South Africa which is very more costly than supporting them here. So I think they were a strong driver um, of starting the program. One of the main reasons for this was um, because Namibia is one of the highest incidents of motor vehicle accidents compared to our population and from motor vehicle accidents and trauma physical problems arise for people with permanent disabilities and physiotherapy is an integral part of optimizing the function of those people. Um, we are now part of the new School of Allied Health Sciences where we um, have departments of psychology and social work, physical sciences and radiography and I think in terms of us as a school developing our image and working as multidisciplinary teams that's the way for the future and also with the school um, I think obviously it's a need in this country um, 
and with the great support from the university and from government, I think we've got a lot to offer um, in terms of providing essential services to, um, to Namibia. Eventually, I think Namibia will say, well done, you Nam, you did a great job um, starting this program. Okay, one, two, three. All right, thank you so much.